people an unidentified man was shot and killed by a licensed firearm holder on Sunday, August 25th, following an altercation in Claremont St. Anne. The incident occurred around 11.15 p.m. when the two men got into a dispute. According to police reports, the unidentified man allegedly attacked the firearm holder with a pair of scissors. In response, the firearm holder discharged his weapon and shot the man. The man was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigations are ongoing. On hear that people, allegations are that the man attacked the licensed firearm holder with a scissors and the licensed firearm holder shot him to death. I say R.I.P. and condolences goes out to his families, friends and well-wishers. Now I get for understand that the police have arrested 23-year-old Junior Coleman. He is a construction worker from Tredgar Park, Spanish Town. He was arrested in connection with the deadly shooting at the wake of reggae artist Christopher Martin's grandmother in Kujo Hill last Wednesday. We have more in this report from Acting Assistant Commissioner of Police, Christopher Phillips. Christopher Phillips, Senior Superintendent of Police with responsibility for Area 5 Command. And I'm here this morning with Acting SSP Hopton Nicholson, the Commanding Officer for St. Catherine North Division, and his Crime Officer is also here, DSP Colin McKenzie. Now on Wednesday the 21st, about 12.35 a.m., several persons were shot and injured by men at a wake in the community of Kojosil, which is located in the Point Hill Police District. Another man known as O'Neill Spencer, O.C. Taros, 34 years old, unemployed of Kojosil District in Point Hill, St. Catherine, was shot and killed less than a kilometer away from the house where the seven persons were shot. From information obtained and investigations carried out, citizens were at a wake when explosions were heard and men were observed firing into the crowd at a wake. Shortly after, more explosions were heard and citizens stumbled on the body of O'Neill Spencer, uh, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds to the upper body along the Kojos Hill main road, some distance away from the wake. The police were notified Citizens and the police assisted the injured persons to the Spanish Town Hospital where O'Neill Spencer was pronounced dead on arrival at 2.40 a.m. Now in response to this criminal act within this Point Hill space, the St. Catherine North Division with the assistance of the Jamaica Defence Force and other police formations have conducted a number of operational activities which were complemented with a high-level investigative team from the St. Catherine North Division. This team worked tirelessly to ensure that the best evidence was gathered to treat with these reports. Now, several statements were recorded from various individuals. Several operations were also conducted in the Point Hill area as well as neighboring communities as the intelligence dictates. Several persons were detained, interviewed, and most of them were subsequently released pending further investigations. Now, one of the persons who was detained, namely Junior Coleman, otherwise called CJ, 23 years old construction worker of a Tredega Park address, has since been charged with the following offenses. Murder, wounding with intent, possession of prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and using a firearm to commit a felony. Also, shooting with intent and conspiracy to commit murder. On the book also is being a part of participating in or facilitating serious offense by a criminal organization. There are other persons who are of interest in this investigation. They are Kemar Miller, who goes also by the name Pantyman, Shane Thompson, O.C. Shadyman, Brian King, O.C. Bryko, 
other men known only as Maurice, Ratty, Bob, Beer, JT, and all of the persons mentioned, we are inviting these persons to report to the Spanish Town Criminal Investigation Branch as soon as possible. We understand the concern and fear this incident has caused in the community, but I want citizens to know that we are working tirelessly to bring the perpetrators to justice. We invite anyone with information to come forward and cooperate with our investigation. I believe that your safety is our priority. Together we can build a safer Jamaica. If you have any information at all, please contact the Spanish Town CIB at 984-3164. There you have it, people. Jonah Coleman was arrested in connection with the shooting and the murder of O'Neill Spencer. And the shooting that took place in Claremont St. Anne, there's a video to that incident. So for those who want to see the video, there's a link in the comment section. Just click the link under the writing. Big up on yourself. I'm out.